Hello everyone, you must be very happy that your exams are over now, but now it's not the end. Let us begin the online classes again. So in today's class, I'm going to start a new chapter, which is database concepts. What is DBMS? DBMS stands for database management system in which you can understand like this. We can bifurcate it in two terms. One will be database and the second is the management system. Now, what is database? Database is a collection of interrelated data. And what is management system? It is a set of program which is used to access or retrieve the data which is stored in the database. So we can define a database as a collection of interrelated data which are stored together to serve multiple applications. You can understand like this. Let us take an example of a school. Now in a school, suppose there is a database which is maintaining the records of the students. Now there are different details of the student which can be stored in a school database like his name, class, section, his permanent address, his guardian's address, phone number or fee details. So many other details are there. Now there are different departments in school which may be uh, time to time requiring the different uh, parts of the data of a particular student. For example, a fee department would require the fee amount, the month for which the payment is due or and the name of the student and the class and section of the student. Now if some case happens where a student's phone number is required along with its address. So for a multiple purpose the data of the student may be required which is stored in a particular database. So that is the reason we are saying that the data is correlated interrelated with each other which can be retrieved or which is applicable that much efficient to serve multiple applications. All right. Most popular database management system software is MySQL and Oracle. There are many other you may find it in internet. However, these two are the popular ones. We will be studying MySQL in further videos. Let's see the purpose of the database. Why we are learning database or why there is a need of storing the data in database. In earlier days when there were no database management system software available, data were stored in a flat files or you can say a file based system. A file based system stores the data in a single big file and there is no particular structure which need to be followed for dealing with the data or for entering the data and a common data a same data can be repeated number of times in a flat file now let us look into some of the limitations of file based system the first limitation of file based approach is difficulty in accessing the data as we know that in a file based system data are stored in a big file maybe you can take the example of ms excel where the data is stored now if you want to search the data for roll number 50 student suppose the roll number is 50 you are knowing however there is no particular application developed to access the data or there's no particular command to access the data so you need to go through the whole file to access the data which sometimes becomes very difficult in file based approach now the second limitation is data redundancy redundancy means duplicacy of the data which means the same data is stored multiple times let us take an example here of an hospital where a particular patient visits the doctor twice or thrice a week and every time for the same patient data is entered in an excel sheet which may create the redundancy of data and for accessing a data of a particular patient for a particular date will be quite difficult in a file based system where multiple data is entered for a particular patient. This is called as data redundancy which can be easily removed with the help of database management system. Now the third limitation is data inconsistency which means that multiple copies of the same data when do not match inconsistency is formed. 
you can take an example here for example that a doctor which is treating in the hospital he leaves the hospital and in place of him some other doc doctor joins right but the data of the previous doctor is not removed at its place or not successfully modified then when we will be searching with the same id two doctor names will be found and that will be called as data inconsistency because with the same id two data cannot be formed you can also understand like this that one student is having one roll number we cannot have the name of two student with the same roll number right the name of the two student can be same but the different roll number will be assigned to them same way if a new doctor has joined so the earlier doctor id or the data should be modified or the new doctor should be provided with the new id and new details or a new column in the same database is inconsistency will be formed the fourth limitation is data isolation which refers to a particular situation where a data of one file is not matched or mapped with the other related file you can understand like this for example in the school administration department the roll number of the student which is registered is different or maybe the phone number of the student is different while accessing the data from the fee department the details of the students are coming in different so that is the mismatch or you may say that we cannot relate the data if we are relating the data with the roll number so here the roll number in one sheet is 4 for the student and in the other sheet it will be 5 or 6 or something like that so the data for a particular student will not be relate correlated to each other or a particular report will not come out to be true so that is called as data isolation which can be overcome with easily with the help of database management software now the fifth limitation is data dependence which means that for example the data is storing in a file based approach right so all the data are being stored now in future if you made make some changes or modify the data in the file that is not automatically updated to the related files however there are some techniques or application used to access the data from file based system but there is no such application designed that the but if the data is updated in one file it will be automatically updated in the second file which is related to that file based approach so this is called as data dependency here this is one of the limitation of file based approach which doesn't happen in case of database management system wherein if you update the data for example if you update the last name of the student or date of birth of the student in one file so all other files will be updated automatically in dbms software which is not possible in file based approach that is why it is called as one of the limitation of file based system and the last limitation is data sharing or you can say data security and controlling issues wherein you don't have any provision to control the data in a file based approach you cannot have a security of your data all the data is available to each and every user which is uh, using that particular system so you cannot secure your data from any unauthorized access which is one of the limitation of file based approach but this can be easily overcome in dbms software by giving a proper security to your data wherein the data cannot be changed by everyone it will not be accessed by any unauthorized user so that is the uh, why we are going to now learn dbms software wherein we will overcome all these limitation and that is one of the solution to all these limitations of file based approach I hope you have understood all the topics which I have discussed today related to the file based approach. So in the next video we will be discussing about database management software and its advantages. Till the time revise these topics. If you have any problem you can contact me. Stay safe. Stay happy. Thank you so much.